Good morning. I'm just doing a short video. This seems to have transferred okay overnight. I can see the rows. Um, it's going to take a while, so I'm not sure if it's something that you'll want to sit and watch um, the whole lot. So what I've done is I've glued the image using the transfer gel face down onto the table. I've left it overnight to dry. So what you need to do now is just with a wet sponge, you need to dampen all the paper that you glued on and take the paper off just by just gently rubbing it. It takes a while because it goes through quite a few layers and this is what you get. A mess. <laughs> eventually, you don't rub too hard, but eventually it goes down to the image from the ink that's then embedded in the gel. Um, and then what I have, because it's smack bang in the middle of the table and it's a different colour, I'll have to paint it into the table so I would take the colours that are in the image and paint them around it so that it eventually it looks like it's been painted on the table. Um, but it's just a slow process of getting all that paper pulp off. And when you think you're down to the image, it dries in cloudy because there's usually a very fine layer just at the end. So you have to kind of make sure you get all of the paper off. I'm just using a household sponge and some warm water. Um, so for the image to be crisp, you need to get all the paper off or it will just mask some of the details. But it is painstakingly slow and I mean that's quite an image size. Um, and I've been about 10 minutes just doing the rows so I won't video at all. But what I'll do is show you the end result, obviously, before I paint it in and then once it's painted, which is the fun bit, this is just getting it on there. It dries in quite quick, so you have to keep putting more water on, but not, not puddle. Has anyone done these before, the image transfers? I've only tried it once with paper and this bit nearly put me off doing it again um, and then I did it with the, um, the kind of cellophane paper that you get on the back of a sheet of labels that was instant um, if you can get your printer to actually print on that stuff you do the same again, leave it overnight upside down on a gel and lift it straight off and it's done because there's no paper to peel. You see that coming out now, there's two, like two roses. Can you remember what the image looks like already? But it's worth it if it's an image that you really want to do. Now, this is one I've been wanting to do again for the last couple of years so I also don't paint white normally and I keep telling everyone I don't paint white but because this was swans I wanted it white the top won't be white but the time of colour coordinated all this image in. There'll be quite a bit of greys and kind of dusky pinkiness I think off of this image. It's not overly colourful which is good because it's an old vintage style picture from a black and white no doubt. But I think the last time I painted in the roses to give them a colour and I, the, she, the wee girl in the picture's got a bangle on and I had put, put metallic paint on that to 
highlight the the bangle. It was really quite nice. Oh, there's a face coming out now. What are you see in this? I've turned it round to face the camera so as you can see the image the right way up. I'm seeing it upside down. I'm really impressed with this Fusion Transfer Gel. The last time I used PVA glue, water based glue, um, and the image bubbled everywhere. It was all wrinkled as soon as it hit the, the moisture. But this didn't. Straight down using a, a plastic card, smoothing it from the centre, and not one single crease. It really, really grabbed it. It was great. That saved me a lot of work at bedtime last night. There's the face. Can you see it? It's coming through now. This is a, a lovely image. And I know I've done it before, but it was two years ago, so... It's time to do it now for me. The last wee table I did it was on the 8th of March last year. So, uh, two years ago. So, um, I had done it for a Mother's Day theme. Um, my own mum wasn't very well at the time and I kind of thought, do I keep this? <laughs> but I knew I could do it again. I just had to find the right piece of furniture. And when I saw this table, it was just perfect. The table was, when I saw it, was painted in grey. Um, but all I could see were the birds, even though you couldn't see the detail of them. I knew I wanted to bring that out. So this morning I'd painted it all white. Um, I think it said three coats of fusion picket fence. And when I got up this morning I made a black glaze. And there's a picture from this morning um, of the glaze effect. It really brought out all the details on the birds. This isn't taking too long actually. Isn't it cool? Some of the paper isn't taking the moisture for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's not properly stuck. I should have done a live with this. <laughs> was tempted. I've never done a live before and um, this would have been a good one. I'll do it next time. It's just getting brave enough to do it. Look at that. So this image was printed on to just normal copy paper that you'd put in your printer. But for it to work clearly, you have to use a laser printer. I don't have a laser printer at home. I printed it somewhere else a while ago. Um, so it has to be the ink rather than toner. It doesn't really work. I've tried it with my own printer, and it, which is just a, a... Oh no, it has to be toner, not ink. That's what I was meaning, an inkjet. Um, and it didn't work. I've tried different ways. So it has to be laser. And I priced those and the printers aren't too bad price wise, but the ink <laughs> the refills were they were about two hundred pounds each. So I don't bother. Once I've got enough spare cash I might invest in one. Because you could do an awful lot printing your own images.
So what I'll do is I'll carry on doing this. I'm sure you don't want to watch somebody rubbing paper for an hour. And that's where we're at just now. And as I say, I'll need to paint it all in. I'll show you the before and after um, of toning it all into the top of the table as well. Um, that's that's the arty farty bit that I like. <laughs> so thanks for watching, if you watched all the way through. See you later.